guys, it's Hey Sophia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys three easy and simple underwater starter homes that you can build in Minecraft. So with the release of the 1.13 update aquatic, I really, really wanted to build some starter homes that are kind of underwater themed. All of these are really simple. They don't require a lot of blocks. They're all really simple blocks to get. But they all look really effective and cool for a very simple start out first fresh from the game house in Minecraft. So let's get started. My first design is based on just like a boulder or a grotto, a rock face. This is something that you can easily just dig into a rock face if you really really wanted to, if you're able to. The problem I find though with digging underwater is it can be quite slow and tedious, especially if you don't have special tools when you're starting out. So today we're going to build our rock. Now you can make whatever really, really random shape you want. The more random, the better it's going to look as a rock. So make it as unnatural, which is most natural looking as you like. The one thing about your rock is you will want to make sure that when you're standing inside, you have at least two to three blocks of space when you're walking around. You can make it super, super tall like that if you wanted to and make it more like a really giant rock. I'm going to kind of go for like a smaller shape just because I'm trying to keep it really simple because when you're starting out you might not be able to get a lot of materials. Now for this build I'm first starting out with the cobblestone block. Now I will like splash through I suppose you could say a few other random different rocks to add some variety but they're all really simple to get and we'll talk about that soon anyway. So to start at the base of my rock, I've actually gone two blocks high. Like I said, you want at least two to three. And then I'm just kind of going up and up in a really random pattern. So I'm going up one here, then we might go one here. It really just, it doesn't matter though what shape you do at all, because you just want to make it suit whatever shape that you built originally. Like I said, you want it to be natural looking and the best way to do that is just to make it really random. Click around in a circle and see what you can find. So I sped up ahead and I put a through different blocks throughout mine and I also made it one block shorter. Now the variety of stone blocks that I have used to give a variety is I've actually used some dead coral. So if you have a coral kind of like underwater reef nearby you like I do, using dead coral is a really great way to get a texture in there. Also andesite is a really great block to use and gravel. If you're feeling very adventurous, you can also use a stone block, but I find that's a little bit more tedious and uses more materials, but it's really up to you. You can just do this all completely cobblestone and add little sand blocks around like I am. Well, we have a dolphin friend with us today. At the moment, you can see that I'm just placing some stone slabs around like the cobblestone slabs. And this is just to give a little bit of a more natural feel to our boulder. And this is because instead of it being a steep block up, block up, block up, it's just going to make a more gradual, smoother look to our boulder. You'll see when I go from a distance looking, but you can see how that already looks smoother. It's not as like edgy as it was before. Now the next thing we're going to do is simply just place some blocks like this to make windows. Now we are using the full glass block today. Just because you can't really use panes underwater, it might change, but as of now you can't because the water will just flow straight through them. So you want to be making sure that you are using the whole glass block, not the panes. So I'm just placing a few and then what I want to cover one side completely because you don't want sides of the glass showing. We're just using this staircase block. But I think that's looking pretty good for now. We're going to focus now on outdoor decoration. And I think the easiest one to add on here is seagrass. Of course, you can add some coral, but let's say if you're building out in the middle of the ocean, there's no reef around you. There's nothing like that at all. Just adding seagrass and maybe the odd kelp here on there will look really, really great on your structure. And if you have been watching my videos for a while, you know I really love to add plants to my build. And that's simply because plants just add a lot of character and they really bring life to your build. I've made a simple pathway there just using a sandstone block because it creates like a different texture that's smoother so it kind of looks like patted down sand if that was a thing underwater. It's just a cool little neat way to add a pathway. And then for a door we're going to go with the oak because let's say above the ground we have a oak forest near us. You just want to use whatever oak material whatever wood material you have near you. If you have a birch 
forest near you, you can make a birch door and then a birch floor. It's the same if you had a dark oak forest or a spruce forest. I nearly said forest. Forest! You just want to use whatever materials are easy to get. That's the whole point of a starter home. So just starting out, you need to use what is available. Another thing though, I do like to sometimes add details as gates, but they won't fill in underwater. So you just want to make sure if you do add any little fences like I am, it's just the fence and not a mix of fence and gates. Finally, you can also add some sea pickles for light because they are found all over and they're really easy to get. Unfortunately, I'm in night vision mode so I can build a little bit easier for you guys down here. So they look a little bit funny so I'm not going to include them. But sea pickles are going to be a really great way to get natural light. Now the best way to go about your home, unlike what I've done, because I'm kind of showing everything, what you would want to do if you're building first up is create your circle on the outside. You don't want to make a little hole in the top of your structure to go down quickly and then quickly fill it in to get rid of all the water on the inside. That's the only issue you are going to have. And it's something you can't really avoid unless if you make a little air bubble when you first start out. So all I've done to completely get rid of all the water in here is just filled it up with a heap of sand. You can also do the same just by using dirt blocks. But what I normally do when I build underwater is I'll create my structure kind of going up and down between air and swimming. I'll create my structure quickly, go back up, get some air, dive down, put it, putting a hole through the top. And then I'll just go in, completely fill it up. Oh, we'll get rid of that night vision. Completely fill it up and then just empty it all out and you have a big air pocket on the inside And that's the easiest way I find to empty out the water from inside your homes Now this next house here that I'm doing is going to be kind of a I suppose you could say a modern home and I'm just attaching it to this random coral block that was sitting there originally Now for my poles here on the corner, I'm going three blocks high with the stripped birch bark block I always have a tongue twister with that one there. Now again, like before, you can use any block available to you. It doesn't even have to be blue coral like I'm doing. You can do pink coral, red coral, yellow coral. Let's say if you have a spruce forest near you and you have a yellow coral block, the spruce would look really, really nice with the yellow coral. So you can also just try and like theme in the actual wood blocks of the color of the coral you have. That's another really cool thing that you can do to add a little bit more design touch to your home. But again, it's about using the easiest kind of blocks that you can get when you're first starting out. So I've just made this cute little square attached to my coral block here. And then we're going to simply make a roof with these sandstone slabs, which are really easy to get because if you go to any beach in Minecraft and you dig down, you're going to find sandstone. You can easily just harvest that and turn it into slabs and that's another really easy natural resource to get in the game. I'm just making a really simple roof just kind of going up and up and up in a square shape just like this. If you wanted to add some more details you can also make the roof kind of fan out at the edges a little more which I'll show you that now too. You could go like this and then just like this see how it's just brought it out three more center down we'll go four on the side here two there two there make that like that three here one there one there but you can kind of see that just fans it out a little bit more and just looks a little bit cleaner and better that's another way you can add a little bit extra detail but i'm just going to empty out the inside of my home there we go and I'm just going to make another really, really simple pathway here. Now, something I forgot to mention as well with my first house, if you are curious about what I like to put in my starter homes in Minecraft, I do have a video which I'll link down below on the top things that I reckon that you should have when you build a starter home. I think they're kind of essential, especially if you want to keep building and actually build past your starter home these are just meant to be the simple little homes but a little bit cool looking so at least you're not looking very lame at the beginning of the game but i've just made another pathway there we'll do some fencing and kelp and i think that's pretty much it we might make this grow a little bit higher like that but there we go so that is house number two you can also add coral if you're able to get it as well
Okay, now the last house that we're going to do today is the little miniature sunken ship like I mentioned earlier. Now, of course, if you have a sunken ship near you, feel free to just like get rid of all the water on the inside of that one and build your home into it. It's really cool. But if you're finding it's a little bit too big for you or if you're wanting to do something different, a little bit more personal, I find building a little miniature one is quite cool to do. So I've just made a very simple shape where I've kind of gone really pointy at one end, which is kind of like the front of the ship. And then we're making it a little wider at the back here. I'm also making it taller at the back and we're going to kind of give it a shipwreck look by just making it a little bit wonky, which is why we have this diagonal kind of sloping roof there. Now for our roof today, I'm going to start off by doing some of the spruce blocks on top, but I will also just mix in some of the dark oak later on. But I'll do that separately and not show you guys, but that's something that you don't have to do. If you have two different types of forest near you, it's quite cool to try and mix and match all the different wood blocks that you do have. Sometimes they can look really, really fantastic together and just add that little bit more detail that you are wanting in your build. But you can see I'm just kind of making my roof patchy, making sure that I've got no gaps so water can't get in there. But you can see it kind of has this slanted look and then from there we're going to simply make kind of like a overhang. I might just go like this as well. Just make it look a little bit more natural. Remove that one too. There we go. So we're going to make an overhang which is just simply one block lower than the actual roof blocks themselves. Just like this and this is something you'll just want to play around with as well you can do whatever kind of shape that you like you don't even have to do this overhang if you don't want to i just find it adds that little bit more detail and it kind of looks like a cute little gutter on the house even though you're building in well basically a sunken ship but yeah and again i have used the glass box instead of the glass panes because we don't want water getting into our house like i mentioned with the first one that we did build we'll add another window here maybe and we might add a little overhang over that one too another window there what we're going to do now as well is just make a little mast up the top of the ship here so we're going to use the same stripped bark spruce block going all the way up just like this you could do a little overhang that's really wide you can make it shorter you can make it way taller if you wanted I might actually make mine a little bit shorter just because I think it looks a little bit too tall I'm trying to make a little miniature ship here you can also if you wanted to add a really cute little detail on top is make a little bucket on top of your mast and all you'd want to do that is just by using some spruce trapdoors like this or whatever other trapdoors that you're using to match the wood of the boat that you've built. That's a cool little way to have a little like bucket little mast up the top there. <laughs> okay, I think that's looking pretty good now. We're going to add our door. There we go. But I'm just going to mix through some of the dark oak speeding up ahead like I mentioned I was going to. There we go. So you can see I've kind of just gone patchy with the dark oak throughout the roof. I might also do a dark oak front fence here just because it matches the house a little bit more than doing a spruce one. Again, placing lots of seed grass because it creates lots of life around the build. You can also place sand around the house if you wanted to make the, the boat look a little bit buried. So that way it looks like it's been there for quite a while. You can add lots of rocks around there by using cobblestone. Maybe we'll do that too. Uh, maybe let's go over here. Maybe let's add some yellow coral. Just because I like the color of the yellow of the spruce. But there we go, you guys. There is how to build three really easy and simple starter homes in Minecraft. We've created a cute little natural boulder. We also have a modern, bright and airy. I suppose you could say airy underwater coral tree home and a little sunken shipwreck but i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like and subscribe if you did make sure to hit that notification bell for notifications every time i post comment down below which one do you think you would build in minecraft but like always guys thank you bye